All right, morning. Seen this many cameras since we signed Tebow. Um, uh, Robert and I, after a you know, series of discussions, have uh, mutually uh, agreed to um, part ways. And uh, for me, this is a day of um, you know, gratitude and celebration. Um, start with Robert and his family. Um, it's great, so much thanks for the opportunity to, to be a head coach here for 24 years. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity. Um, received tremendous support. Uh, we had a vision of you know building a winner, building a championship football team here, and uh, that's exceeded, exceeded my my wildest dreams um, and expectations. Uh, the amount of success that we were able to achieve together, um, you know, through a lot of hard work and you know contributions of so many people. Um, so I'm very proud of that, and and um, I always had those those great memories. I'll carry with those those with me the rest of my life. Um, and of course, after uh, you know Robert, um, thanks to the assistant coaches. Um, you know, I've had so many great coaches uh, here. Uh, they've made my job uh, so much easier. Uh, it's a long list, but you know the amount of work, preparation, um, and diligence that they do. Um, every one of them. Um, and I say this about the players and the coaches, regardless of how long they were here, how many years they were here, how many years they coached, or what the position was. Um, you know, it was a great team effort, and, and everybody you know put everything they had into it. And, uh, and that's why we were successful. So um, for the coaches, the support staff, um, the, it's an amazing staff here that, that supported me in every way. Um, all the scouting and all the, the football support people from equipment and training, uh, security, video, operations, um, uh, and so forth, right down the line, dining room. I mean, it's all, it's all first class. It's all, you know, extremely extremely good and um, you know special thanks to Bears and Nancy they've been here since day one and um, you know made my life a lot easier or I've made theirs a lot harder however you want to look at it um, but that's uh, you know a big shout out to them and of course uh, a great great deal of thanks and appreciation to the players uh, players win games in the NFL and I've been very very fortunate to coach some of the, the greatest players uh, that have ever played some of the greatest players that have ever played for the Patriots some of them are already in the Hall of Fame uh, many more are going um, but again, regardless of how long any of the players were or weren't here, or what their role was, or or how many games they played, or even if they didn't win championships, um, you know, I respect the way the players come to work here on a daily basis. Uh, all of them, I've coached, you know, well over a thousand. <clears throat> but their their ability to work, prepare, uh, train, you know, in the weight room, um, you know, train their bodies, uh, meet. Rehearse over and over again. You know what we need to do things right to, to be successful to win. Uh, it's just I have so much respect for all the players, um, and certainly we've had you know many that have been here for a long time and you know had great contributions and, and uh, too many to name at this time. But um, you know, great thanks to the players and um, to the media for you guys. I, I don't know that anybody's gotten more coverage than uh, than I have or we have in the past 24 years. Um, you know, meet, meet with you guys a lot. Respect what you do. Um, you know, you're a voice to the fans, and uh, even though we don't always see eye to eye all the time, most of the time, but not all the time, uh, I do respect what you do. And and uh, and finally, to the fans, um, you know, the fans here are amazing. Um, you know, there's so many memories of the fans, the the send-offs, um, the parades, um, the Sundays. You know whatever the whatever the situations are, um, the letters of support, uh, the you know seeing the fans you know away from here you know at a gas station or a grocery store or, you know where you bump into them, uh, Patriot fans here and not just in New England but uh, they extend nationally and even internationally uh, as I've traveled. Uh, it's amazing how far the the arm reaches. We saw that this year in in Germany. So uh, so appreciative of the fans for all the support they've given me, uh, my family, uh, and this football team and. Uh, it's with um, just so many fond memories and, and uh, thoughts that I you know, think about the Patriots and, and uh, I'll always be a Patriot. I look forward to coming back here. Uh, but at this time, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to move on. And uh, I look forward and excited for the future. Uh, but always very, very appreciative of the opportunity here, the support here, uh, and, you know, the, what Robert, what you've done for me. Thank you.
Thank you, Bill. Um, good afternoon, everyone. And as Bill mentioned yesterday, uh, we met and mutually agreed to part ways amicably. And like a good marriage, a successful head coach owner relationship requires a lot of hard work. And I'm very proud that our partnership lasted for 24 years. I don't think in the NFL there's been any other partnership that lasted longer and has been as productive as ours. I trusted my instincts to bring Bill back to New England in 2000 after immediately regretting not hiring him after working with him together in 1996. When I did hire him, I was still making the transition from the fan who bought season tickets in 71, sitting on the metal benches in the old Foxborough Stadium with my boys to try to become an experienced owner. Bill has taught me a lot over those years, and we had high expectations for what we could achieve together. I think we were the only ones who had those expectations. And I think it's, I think it's safe to say we exceeded them, we did. thanks to you. Um, it's hard to put into words, really, when I think back to sitting on those metal benches and that we'd have an opportunity to go to 10 Super Bowls together and bring six Lombardi trophies home to Massachusetts. At heart, I will always be a sentimental sports fan. So this is a very emotional day for me. Some of my happiest and most memorable moments were celebrated with my family during Bill's tenure here. I recognize that it also is a very emotional day for many of our fans and most of our fans as it represents the end of an era, one that hopefully will always be celebrated in this region. The man standing to my left brought the leadership and coaching skills that were needed to make this type of unprecedented success that we have had possible. Coach Belichick will forever be celebrated as a legendary sports icon here in New England, and I believe go in as a pro football Hall of Famer on the first ballot. Why? Because he is the greatest coach of all times. Which makes this decision to part ways so hard. But this is a move that we mutually agreed that is needed at this time. What Bill accomplished with us, in my opinion, will never be replicated. And the fact that it was done in the salary cap and free agency era makes it even more extraordinary. I thank Coach Bill for his hard work and dedication. It'll be difficult to see him in a cutoff hoodie on the sideline, but I will always continue wish him continued success, except when he's playing our beloved Patriots. So I thank you all for coming here today and being part of this uh, celebration. Thank you. Thanks, brother. He's got a cold, so I'm not going to kiss him. <laughs> thank you.